Okay, Brett, right now I am uploading your uh, Garamon proof. This is basically the same proof that I showed, I sent you with uh, Times New Roman, but I did make changes based on your email. I went through and I typeset the poetry uh, so that, you know, that widow, widow and orphan control thing is in effect. That has to be done manually. And um, I'll, I'll sh I can show you in the text here. Um, we just go down to chapter se part seven real quick. The print version allows for me to, um, you know, there, there, this line here, this bottom line on the word and word translation, was way up here, and there was an, there was a line between this this line here. There was an extra paragraph mark, an extra intro like this. And it was appearing right there, and there was another extra line right here. Now this is really cool because on the printed page, you don't need to have this extra space right here. So I just deleted that. It brought this line up to with this line, and I can delete this space and solve the problem that was down here. See, whenever you were, whenever you had all this on one page, you needed to have that this space here. But because it's on a page, that's taken care of. But let's say you go in and somehow, uh, you know, you add a line. You know, we just add one line here. It throws everything off. You see you have that right there and that. So that's why I can't go through and just typeset everything. I have to wait until all of the editing is completely done and the book is completely written. The good news is it's only going to take me like maybe 15 minutes to type to typeset the whole thing because all this stuff is already done. You know, the, this is not going to affect the lines. Um, oops, I noticed that this is off here. It's not going to affect where these are placed. These numbers are placed. Um, you know, or any or the space between the words or anything like that. I just have to remove, remove and add empty space, basically, to make that work for you. I'm sorry I didn't notice that the first time around. Um, honestly, I, I was expecting, kind of like uh, what you said, I was expecting it to um, resolve itself just by telling it, you know, in, over here in the style, you know, whenever you said check formatting, I went and checked it, and I knew I had done it. Uh, you know, this widow and orphan control box is, is selected, and it's just not doing its job properly. So uh, another thing to look out for here is um, these number lines. Man, they move so much. You know, you've noticed I've been I've been adding a few even as I've been talking here. These things just it's like a ghost. You know, like it moves around. So just with all the formatting that's been done, uh, sometimes these things aren't in line. So it'll be something to look out for. Oh, I know what it is. These last lines were that was a that was a side effect of moving the lines around. See, I've moved this here, and it needs a different number of tabs for the different pages. So I'm going to have to work on that. But I just wanted to show you, you know, what what's going on in, in the text. You know, we have these lines. Um, That's just a last minute thing that I'm going to have to do at the very end of, uh, you know, moving everything around. So, anyway, I've got it all done. I just wanted to show you, uh, uh, show you that little issue. Okay, so let's go back here. Launch interior review. There are two issues. We've talked about them already. The two issues that it says right there are the uh, paper size. You know, I'm, I'm uploading it from 8.5 by 11 paper size, but um, it can automatically trim that the paper size down to the um, 6 by 9 or 7.5 by 9.5. See, all it's doing is cutting out the extra space. But the other issue is the images are 200 dpi. But... Okay, let's look and see if you like this font. I love it. I, I, this is how I publish all of my books. 
Um, I'm going to make this a little bigger so we can see it a little a little bit easy more easily. Okay, so this is where the foot binding is. Um, I added the tab right here, one line tab attribution. I just need you to look through this and see if you have any questions or concerns, or if you want any kind of changes. But this is what I usually do. Um, just as an explanation, I have the uh, part one begins with page one. It just all it has is your quote from Leonardo da Vinci. You know, I always tab over these these attributions, and you have your. Uh, I will remove that. Uh, I usually don't put that on the on the first chapter, but if you if you don't mind, I'll just I'll leave it there. But that's it. We got taking up all the printable space on the page. I'll only allow for two hyphens at the end. There's just one hyphen on this page. Um, you'll never see more than two. It's called a ladder when you have more than two in a row. Uh, I typeset all of your poetry for the first seven chapters just so you can get a feel for what's going on. Now these pretty little line indicators on the side here, I'm not going to be able to do that on your ebook. It, it this appears. There's no way to get it to appear way over here. It's always going to appear, uh, you know, down at the side or or somewhere else. It's not pretty. But again, we have one one line between the um, poem and the attribution, and you attribute it like this. I went ahead and started this poem on the next page. I think it looks great there. This little dollar sign, little uh, number sign. Is going to be replaced with a nice, a pretty little ornament, like a squiggly, like a like a little line or something like that. Um, I'm going to replace all those at, at the end because the my little my little uh, ornament does not carry over. You know, you have a word document right now. That ornament would appear like as a letter F or as a star or something funny. So I ha I can't put that in while we're still while we're still making changes to the document. So uh, another thing that I'm going to do last minute is uh, add all of the bibliographic information for your internet quotes. Other than that, your um, notes should be very clean. This also, these little stars also indicate where the text is going to break, and I'm going to put in a little ornament. No widows and orphans anymore. With the, that type of thing. Just clicking through to find another. You got this all together. I thought about making these single spaced so that there's not as much space being taken up, but I couldn't make it work. I think it actually looks better like this. And again, when you have d double lines like this, I'm keeping them all together. So part two begins halfway through the p down to the bottom of the page. On the part, the parts there's no chapter heading. There's no, there's no. I'm sorry, there's no um, header. See so how these lines are together now. And they start at the same page, at the same height on the page, and they end at the same place. So that's your print book now. Uh, take a look at it. Let me know what you need, what you want changed. Thank you.